They'll be calling you a radical. A lot of stuff to talk about Fukushima, about post ignorance, about our movement, about the so called fucking artists of our time who have fucking betrayed us. These are the flowers that we're going to use. If somebody says post ignorance is what? It's what? It's the foundation. No, it's the opposite of a foundation. Yeah, and I want people to tweak this and use this. I hope it shows up decent. I'll take some pictures, paste it on my folks' book. It's a seed. It's an organic wildflower seed that blew in the wind and landed. That's what post ignorance is. This thing has to grow as Occupy did so much. It did so much. And Occupy had it right in so many ways. They had it right. Fuck the old celebrities. Keep them the fuck out. They did let Michael Moore show up, which he gets a piece. He gets a piece. No matter of any movement in this country, he gets a piece. Not because we agree with him, not because of whatever. Because he did the fucking work. He did the work. You watch fucking Roger and me. Watch Fahrenheit 9-11, not just in an artistic way. Those things are the most brilliant fucking teaching documentaries ever. He did the work. As we say, fuck the clock, Patty. Fuck the clock, Patty. As you guys put her on this fucking pedestal. Bruce. Bruce, we put him on this pedestal. Yeah, they did the work in 1970s, and we made them rich. I mean, Fleetwood Mac, you know, Stevie, right here. I remember seeing Stevie, putting my arms around with her, hugging her. When we were teenagers, for what, seven bucks? She's a Utah girl, by the way. She, you know, Arizona, but she grew up here. We all fucking knew these people. They were us, we were they. Yeah, all of a sudden, they freaking turned into this abstraction and moved away. And I want to say about this, about Washington Square. Leave your fucking guns fucking home. What are you going to do, shoot an isotope out of the fucking air? Leave your fucking cliche one-liners home. We don't know the difference between a cliche, a fucking slogan, or a truth. There are lots of great truths. Social media has been a powerhouse in activism. It has changed the world. As these videos, my art... I mean, you think about my art, our art, our art, your art, we art, info art. Think about when you click on a video. As I'm not just talking to people who sit around and regurgitate other people's freaking work. Which, I, I mean, I use, I use old iconic paintings in my paintings. I love that stuff. It's the comments. What do we first look at? We look at likes, dislikes. We look at the comments. The comments are such a big piece of the art. And the artist has control. That's the beauty of this genre. He has control of that because, look, if the subject matter doesn't work with it, he can get rid of it because he is the artist. That's the way it has to be. You think about it, it's such a we, we tool. As John Steinbeck said, we simply went from the we to the I. As I say, we went from the we to the I. Back to the greatest we in human history. Back to the capital I. As that picture that's taken of me that with my glasses, blue glass, and I'm looking this way, and the black and yellow, black and yellow, black and yellow, they kidnap that color, the nuclear fucking liars. That's another reason we're going to use this. We're taking them fucking colors back. That's the color of the bumblebee. As I'm looking the other way, that's taken at the MoMA. I'm at the MoMA. That's last winter. As the abstraction impressionism movement, that's the clocks. Now you think about that piece. I don't like modern day fucking art, what's been done, as Thomas Ackerman calls it, interior decorators for oligarchs. It's pathetic. It's pathetic. I love that piece for one reason. He did the fucking work. You know how much work he put into that? It's not even more. It's, it's, it's a piece of history. It's like Doris. I mean, why is she not the greatest celebrity in the country? I mean, her brilliant fucking life. Bruce, Bono, Patty in New York. Patty's this fucking god. Fuck the clock. When she, remember when she said fuck? She, now it's fuck the doomsday clock. As Lonnie Clark put up this great video of Jasmine and her beautiful child in Eugene. I want you to watch that video. I met Jasmine when I was up there. She does the work. That young lady. Yeah, people say, oh, the hypocrite. She's, she's not a hippie. The hypocrites. She's not just stand up there and say, oh, this, blah, blah, blah. That's my one friend. Oh, I'm a hippie. He posts these pictures of hippies. And he went over hippie. Are very close. Well, we grew up all of us together. I said, you know, Paul died. Yeah. Yeah, it was a 
Where the fuck were you? Lifelong fucking one of us, I mean, our little fucking, us little kids. Where the fuck were you? Oh, well, uh, fucking hippie. She's not, because she's done the work. I mean, when up the, she shows up to everything. She teaches her child right. She does the right things. We are organic. It's a seed. As Occupy, I say it was the sex born out of love, not in a fucking crack house out of anger, like Fox News was. Like, fuck, and look, if you don't think activism has changed, activism is right here, right now. This is the fucking soapbox. We're on the stage. You know, this girl showing up with a drum, dang, dang, showing up and hoping fucking hold hands and levitate the fucking White House and hope the fucking media shows up is so fucking dry, worn out bullshit. It's like fucking the Eagles. It's like fucking Don Hanley. It's like Stevie Nicks and fucking Fleetwood Mac. It's like Bruce. It's like Patty in New York. Yeah, they did the work. Forty fucking years ago. You're done. Sit down. You're on the fucking sideline. We got our ass picked because of people like you. Because we made you rich. And you took your wealth and you stood on an ivory fuck. You didn't do fucking nothing. Make a commentary in the New York Times. Oh, look at me. I'm the artist and you fuckers aren't. Oh, go home. I'm it. Yeah, fuck you. Fuck every fuck. Yeah, here, Bruce. How much did he charge to go see his fucking concerts? All of them. Sit the fuck down. You're fucking done. This is a new breed of activists. New artists. New art. Yeah, Thomas Harper. There's some young artists in Manhattan. I know them. 40-year-olds that are painting and working in this genre, in the music genre, whatever. They are the important art. You sure the fuck not. Because I everybody says, oh, I'm old. I can't do the fucking work. Oh, yeah? Oh, yeah? Who is the greatest activist art artist maybe ever in humanity? Picasso. He never stopped doing work. I love how he's... Fucking, they say he was so heartbreaking when his fucking libido went a fucking way. And he had to quit making art. He, he says, I couldn't believe that happened to me. Fuck, my libido went and I had, my art went. He was 84 fucking years old. He never stopped making the art. Van Gogh never stopped making the art until he fucking boom. Oh, do I understand that thesis? I'm in the club. We're going to lay... We're going to use sunflowers. We're going to use yellow. I was going to do the background of this yellow. Because that art is emerging now. These were artists in Japan after Hiroshima. That nobody, America squashed that, now we get to see it. That art is ugly. It is so ugly. It is so great. I've been really getting into it lately. And I'll tell you how I discovered it. And I thought I really knew art history. I found it on YouTube on the incredible documentary that National Geographic did on Hiroshima. Wow, wow, what a powerful tool this is. We do the work. This is refined. Post-ignorance is refined. It is refined. It's not protest. My dad used to say the Special Force Marine nuked to death in the Nevada test site. He said, boy, you're way too pretty to have an opinion. Shut the fuck up and get to work. <laughs> Laugh, you know. Right here where I'm sitting. I'll never forget it. I've been working all fucking day. I don't know where the fuck he's been. Out fucking chasing girls, fucking what? Well, they chased him. I mean, in this beautiful, healthy America. I mean, it's late. It's 100 degrees hotter. Than right here where I'm fucking sitting. I'll never forget it. He comes home and he says, come on, let's go finish up. I'm like, are you fucking kidding me? I've been working all fucking day. I've been throwing bells of hay all fucking day for fucking 10, 12 hours. Where have you been? I don't give a fuck. I told you, let's go. Okay. He drives the truck. You know, he's driving right here. I'll never forget it. He's driving along. We're going along. Last ten bells. That's what a smart ass he was. You know, this is the this is the poetry of anger he was. Hey, you want me to get those last ten? Yeah, fuck you. What'd you say to me? You heard what I said. I'm a little I'm a young boy. Fuck up that fucking elevator truck still going. Fuck, I jump off the fucking back end, and I think, ah, that's a long ways up there. I'm on a big flatbed truck, fucking jump all the way off. I'm like, I got him. He jumps off, leaves the truck going, chases me, fucking all the way right behind my grandma. That, I mean, I think about that so fucking much. He's going to fucking kill me, you know. I had to hide out there for weeks, and fucking, then, you know, later on, I mean, I hid out there for two fucking weeks. My grandmother had to protect me from him. And she's like, like he would have done anything, would never lay a finger on you. He understood. He was older by then. Well, 
about 50, I think he probably was then. He died shortly thereafter. But he did the fucking work. We have to do the work. We have to understand this economy, as I call it, science fiction economics. It really is science fiction. Greenspan, the Anne Rand fairy tales. We have to run that the, the usury-based economy is nothing but cover for. They call it the service-based. It's a usury-based usury. Jesus Christ threw the money changers out of the temple. We all understood usury from 1313 13, all the way 13 2013 from all the way. I have done the work. I understand economic. I mean, try me. Oh, try me. Tariffs, usury laws. That's why we're going to walk down to Alexander Hamilton's grave. The enforcement of interest rate. There is no wrong or right. There's only popular opinion. How did they switch popular opinion into this radical lie, upside down world, as Lonnie Clark calls it? Fox News. Rupert. Kiss the ring. The queen. That philosophy says the new world order. I love that. <laughs> That's how backwards those fuckers are. The new world order is the old world order. Pay the dragon slayer. Pay the dragon slayer. Fuck the clock. As she says, Jasmine, in that video, it's a human thing. It's a human thing. Those girls die. It's a human thing. Because people could relate. Because they love those young women. Because who doesn't love a young girl? Because I remember the day that Bill Clinton betrayed us. 1994. I'm walking along. I was at our school business. And I'll never forget it. As he run, I'm the next freaking John Kennedy. I'm the next John Kennedy. And we fell for it. It's the ultimate betrayal. No, John, do you think John Kennedy, I mean, he tried to freaking whack nuclear. You think he would have signed NAFTA? Are you fucking kidding? As I say, it was June 6th. So many things on June 6th. One, D-Day. Most infamous day in the last, at least, maybe ever in this country. At least in 100 years. Same day, Bobby was killed. He would have never signed NAFTA. None of them ever signed NAFTA. Bill Clinton betrayed us. I felt like I'd been fucking slept. It's like when you are got that beautiful girl you're in junior high and high school with. By the way, she, that's who Paul was married to, and she's dead too. So many of us little kids are dead. And you're walking along, you know, she's your girlfriend, whatever, and you show up to school one day, and there she is walking around holding somebody else's hand. Remember those feelings? We all had them. When I look in your eyes, I go crazy. That's what it felt like that day. Bill Clinton betrayed us. He was a Rhodes Scholar at Oxford. Hmm, 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 the antitrust school. As, is Obama betraying us? So far, but I feel a change. I feel the change because Occupy changed the conversation. We've refined it now. Post-ignorance, by definition, is a counter-movement. What do we have to counter? Ignorance. We're countering ignorance as the abstract impressionistic movement, the greatest movement in the le That hasn't been a great art movement since. Maybe popism, which very tight together, as popism is dead, as it died 3-11-11, 3-11 changed the world, the counter opposite of 9-11. You think about this. You think about this. Really think about this. 3-11 changed the world. The abstract impressionists, without the New Deal, they never, that. they all work for the CCC and the WPA. Every single fucking one of them. That's what changed the fucking world. These small ideas, and I will read this in slow motion. Post ignorance, is that scar on my tongue? Is my little grandson, that's what this is about. This is about our kids. This is about our, our parents fought for us, and they gave us all this equity on a silver platter. We not only blew it, and to... Fleetwood Mac, to Bruce, to Bono, to Patty. You can put them up on your ivory towers. They charge us, what, fucking $300 to even look at them now? I mean, Fleetwood Mac, I'm here, they were $500. i am like, are you fucking kidding me? I, got, well, I knew fucking her back then. We all knew her, us little kids. Fucking $11. Now that fucking greedy fucking bitch is fucking trying to tell us, fuck you. See a bunch of old fuckers? As Grace Slick said, it's so best. There's something grotesque about fucking senior citizens in spandex fucking trying to catch lightning on the bottle. Fuck them! Fuck the clock, huh? Yeah, fuck you. Fuck the doomsday clock. This is a human thing. I see post-ignorance like this. 
I see post ignorance as a pure art movement, the concept of art itself, and the concept of artist culture, and the concept of the people are culture, and the concept of inspiration, influence, and the great historical artists like Van Gogh, like Millay, like Pollock, references to Kaczynski. I read the fucker online. I'll tag it right here. I read the whole book online for free. All of it. YouTube has a slow motion button. We do the work. We're ready now. We have individual ideas. The end of nuclearism is the hierarchy. This changed it all. Just like those girls' deaths, the shirtwaist girls' deaths changed it all. Stay on tuned.